What's going on YouTube? Uberman here. I'm going to be doing an unboxing and probably a short review of this Acer Aspire R11. Uh, just picked this up from Walmart. It was uh, $225, I believe. It's right at, right at $225. It is an Aspire R11 R3-131T-C1YF. This is the sky blue. I think the color is really nice. Um, Here's some specs, Intel Celeron N3050, 2 gigs of DDR3, 11.6 inch uh, touchscreen display, 32 gigs, uh, it's basically a uh, SSD. Um, re screen resolution, well it's about as good as you'd expect out of something this small. This is a convertible touchscreen, hopefully I can get some more uh, specs once we open it up. see what we got in here there's nothing there nothing important there this will be our cables get your uh, power adapter power brick power cord for the power brick and last but not least we have the laptop itself Throw that on the floor. Figure out how to get the laptop out of this thing. You guys are probably like, why would you go and buy some cheap little laptop? Well, I need something. I'm going on vacation and I gotta be able to keep up with YouTube videos. Um, I've gotta keep up with orders that need to be shipped out from the uh, Uberman store, things of that nature. So I just said to heck with it. Got this little thing. Let's go ahead and fire it up for the first time ever. We can find a power button on the silly thing. Going to there we go. Power button's on the right side. Comes with Windows 10, 64 bit. Oh, will not turn on at all. Huh, interesting. I know you got to charge the battery, but I mean, usually the things do turn on when you first get them out. So I guess I'm going to have to pause it and uh, plug it in. We'll come back when uh, I can get it to power on. All right, so we plugged it in. I have not tried to power it up yet, but there's no reason it should not come on now. There we go. Uh, there were so many different tablets and laptops I could choose from. I didn't want to spend a lot of money because I don't spend a whole lot of time on the road. Um, but when I do, I think this will be perfect. Yeah, it doesn't have a lot of storage, 32 gigs. But I mean, I'm not using it for much other than to manage my online store, check emails, basically a little web machine. And I like this one because unlike a lot of the other laptops, this one has SSD. I know it's only 32 gigabytes, but whatever I can deal with that that means the thing should be a whole lot faster than one of your laptops that comes with like a 500 gig or one terabyte um, standard SATA hard drive so I expect it should be a reasonably fast machine once it uh, gets up and going for the first time and I like the fact that it's a touch screen I like the fact that it is a combination uh, it's got Gorilla Glass it'll stand up you can flip it on its back like this. And the keys are uh, recessed in the bottom and it has feet on it. So you can sit it like this without damaging the keyboard. Or you can carry it around just like this, like a, like a tablet. And when you have it turned this way, the keyboard doesn't work. So even if you hit keys accidentally on the back, you won't have a problem. And as you can see the touch screen here, there we go. See that? Works great. English, US, uh, Central. Then next, it's going to want to set up to the Wi Fi after we accept all these different agreements.
All right, so I just entered in my password. I paused the video because I didn't want to enter the password uh, on this video here. Incorrect. All right, I entered the wrong password. We're going to just go ahead and use Express Settings. And Windows should be popping up now. I guess it probably have to turn off the light. So we're getting a lot of reflection here. There we go. I'm not going to make you sit through this. We'll pause it until it comes up. Alright, so I got it up and going. And here's what we have. We have uh, Windows 10 64-bit. We have 2 gigs of RAM. We have, uh, should be 32 gigs of onboard storage. Take a look real quick. Uh, yeah, 32 gigs of storage, out of which 15.4 uh, gigs is available, so you don't really have much room to do much on here. Um, but I think this is going to work out pretty good for me, because I, I, really, I don't really need it for, for a whole lot. Just a few uh, minute tasks um, on the internet, and it should be more than capable of handling that. So, uh, With that being said, there it is, guys. Here's what it looks like. It's tiny. It's 11.6 inches. I don't know if we have to push the power button, turn it back on, or if it comes back on on its own. Don't know. Either way. Um, so there she is. You've got uh, USB 3.0 port, which I think is absolutely fantastic. You've got a USB 2.0. You got an HDMI. Ooh, and I just broke it. Um, you've got your uh, Ethernet port on the back side here. You've got a slot for your SD card, which I think is nice because a lot of these uh, smaller ones don't come with those. On this side, you've got your volume rocker up and down, and you've got your power button, and you've got your uh, port for your power cable. So there you have it. Um, like I said, this thing was uh, two and a quarter. And depending on where you go, you can find them if you want one refurbished or something online for like 125 So you can't really beat it. It's a great little computer. It seems to work fairly quickly. The screen is good. I'm uh, sorry about the damn autofocus here. It needs to just stop. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I do recommend this if you're looking for something small and that you don't plan on doing a whole lot with, uh, mostly internet. Um, this thing would be internet and email. This thing is great for it. Uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and be safe out there.